If you take page 560 of the bill we had from the Architectural Alliance of Kenya, and the close uh, um, that they wanted the little noble speaker, we replied to the report and actually agreed with the stakeholder that that particular clause be deleted. So I wanted to take that time to set the record state that the report has observations and has replies to all the stakeholders on the report. And I encourage my good friend, uh, Dr. James Nikal, to go and read the report properly and get to see the recommendations and the reply that was made for every issue that was raised by the stakeholders. And this is the first time, because I know, honorable speaker, we are used to having a report that has observations toward the tail end of the report. And that is why perhaps some members are getting confused. You need to read every page and you'll see the observations that the Joint Committee made on every stakeholder inside the report. And that I beg uh, 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 to say, uh, Honorable Speaker. Thank you. We'll leave it there. No. He hasn't said anything worth replying. We now go to the next order, order number 11. Order number 11, Committee of the Whole House. Order, honorable members, will you be upstanding? Oh, a very good afternoon to you and the session of the Wednesday, the third session of the afternoon city sitting being February 21st, where the members of parliament uh, began with a procedural motion on the extension of period for the consideration of the 2024 budget policy statement and the extension of the period for the consideration of the 2024 debt management strategy uh, members of Parliament now are on the Committee of the Whole House uh, on the considerations of the Affordable Housing Bill, Bill number 75 of 2023. I now hand over you to... Member for Shukai Gambagombe, take your seat. Member for Manyata, take your seat. Order members, Honorable Abdikadir, take your seat. Hi. Shut up. Order members. Member for Ndia, member for Ndia, take your seat. Honorable Kerema, take your seat. Honorable Mokonji, take your seat. Order, members. Before we go to Committee of the Whole, allow me to recognize Catholic University of Eastern Africa students in Langata constituency, Nairobi County. Join me in welcoming them to observe the proceedings of the House.
we are now in the committee of the whole to consider the affordable housing bill 2023 clause 3 clause 3 i propose the question that clause 3 be part of the bill mover chair I know this is co-sponsored co by Chair Housing and Chair Finance. Who is moving the amendment? Honorable Speaker, Honorable Chair, I beg to move that clause three of the bill be amended as per the order paper, that in paragraph A, by, uh, we, insert, we insert the words, and to reasonable standards of sanitation, and then the end of paragraph uh, B, in paragraph B, by inserting the words an institutional housing at the end of the paragraph, and C, in paragraph C, by inserting the words and institutional housing at the end of the paragraph. Honorable Speaker, this amendment is to provide for, to include institutional housing as part of the affordable housing scheme. With that, I beg to move, Honorable Speaker. I therefore propose the question that clause 3 be amended as proposed by the Chair of Finance. I now put the question that clause 3 be amended as proposed by the Chair Finance Committee. Will as many as are of that opinion say aye? aye. Will as many as are of a counter opinion say nay? The ayes have it. The import of carrying that amendment is that the amendment proposed by Honorable Oundo will fall. But I will allow Honorable Gadoni Wamushomba to move her amendment on this. If she's not in the house, it is dropped. Therefore, I will put a global question that the clause 3 as amended be part of the bill. Will as many as are of that opinion say aye? Aye. Will as many as are of a counter opinion say nay? The ayes have it. Clause 4. I propose the question that clause 4 be part of the bill. Mover. Oh, uh, Honorable Chair, uh, the, the, there is no amendment on... Order members, order chair. The person with an amendment on this is Honorable Gadonu Amoshomba, who is not in the house, so the amendment... No. Where is Millie? Honorable Gadonu Wamushomba is not in the house, so her amendment is dropped. Member for Suba had an amendment. Honorable Milio Diambo, the speaker has allowed Honorable Nikal to... Honorable Otiende Amolo to move for Honorable Milio Diambo. Thank you, Chair. On behalf of Honorable Milio Diambo, the proposal in respect of Clause 4 is to delete clause 4 in its entirety with the result that there will be no levy imposed. I so move. <laughs> Therefore, I propose the question that clause 4 be amended as proposed by Honorable Milio Diambo. I now put the question that clause 4 be amended as proposed by Honorable Milio Diambo. Will as many as are of that opinion say aye? Will as many as are of a contrary opinion say nay? The nay serve it. So, the import of that, uh, the, the, the amendment by Jambo falls. Remember, for Pinola falls, then we have uh, one by Nikal. The import of that is that the amendment by member for Funyula falls, then we'll have the amendment by the member for Seme, Honorable Nikal. Move your amendment. Chair, 
my amendment is that is the order paper. And Madam Chair, the import of this amendment is that the levy is actually being put on the gross salary. That means the salary as it is before it is touched. And my amendment is proposing that we put it on the net. That means, that means after you have done statutory deductions, such as NISHIF, yeah, such as NSSF, then what is left is what you leave with the 1.5% on. Madam Speaker, why I'm doing this? Kenyans are actually having a lot of deductions which are statutory, which are by law, which they have no control over. And therefore, since all those are going to support government things and, 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 and public things, it is therefore important that we save them from that. And therefore, we want those deducted first, and then what is left is then what is subjected to 1.5%. If you look at it, honorable members, all the, all the deduction is still actually going to either government or whatever levy. So we are just saving the members so that they pay a little less, but what is left is what is deducted and what they have paid has also gone to the government. So it is a consideration so that as we do this, we actually don't hurt members excessively. So, thank you, Chair. Thank you. I therefore propose the question that Clause 4 be amended as proposed by Honorable Nikau. <laughs> Member for Mola, Chair of Finance. Honorable uh, uh, Chair, the, 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 the recommended amendment by Dr. Nikai and the explanation he has given is actually misleading. Because by deleting the word gross and substituting that with net, the imp the impact of that would mean that for you to impose a levy, you will have to take into consideration all deductions, including if you had circle savings or your circle loans or your bank or, 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 or your loan at the bank, and therefore that would cause an administration nightmare. It is not implementable as uh, as recommended by uh, Dr. Nikal, and therefore our proposal is that we do not support Dr. Nikal's amendment. Thank you. I will. I will now put the question that clause four. I will indulge a few members on a ball watch of Madare. Uh, and chair, maybe you could guide. Do I now move my amendment or wait for no. this to? No, honorable member, we prosecute honorable okay. Nicals first. So we uh, will come to you. Honorable uh, chair, I support these amendments because the uh, bill as it is presupposes then that the housing levy becomes a fast charge without taking into consideration that there may be many other uh, uh, items that employees may already have encumbered themselves into. There is no justification why you would put in a hierarchy the housing levy to be a fast charge above other items that an employee has already been encumbered with. Therefore, by removing the word gross, it allows all other things which should share on equal basis so that the employee is not disadvantaged on the basis of an imposition of a fast levy, which it is not. Therefore, I support Honorable Jikal's uh, amendment. Honorable Lord, I've indulged you because you had a similar amendment, and the fate that will befall Honorable Nikal's amendment will affect your amendment. That also for Honorable Clive and Honorable Ariko. Before then, I will give uh, Honorable CNN. If you're intending to speak to this, you'll put intervention per, per clause. Yes, Honorable Chair. CNN. Uh, yes, Chair. I rise to support this amendment, Chair. Madam Chair, if you have compared the pay slips of Kenyans who are actually working today, majority of them, if we impose levy based on gross and salary, my, my, Madam Chair, majority of them have gone to negative territory. That's why I am supporting this amendment, Chair. Thank and it you. will be good for K. Thank you. Member for Kesses. Thank you, Chair. My 
weight on this matter is that on the proposal by one Honorable Nikal, it is not workable because as per the provision of the Constitution, we need a basic common denominator that is equitable, that is balanced, that is fair, that is applicable across the board. But when we look at the net, it will be discriminative because we cannot be of equal in terms of deductions. So I want to propose that that particular pro uh, proposal amendment should not stand, but rather we go to the original that we base on the gross, because that cuts across in an equal manner. Thank you. Order members, keep the consultations low. We need to hear the members. Member Honor Brahim. See you. Give on Aburahim the mic. <laughs> Members, be patient. We'll get to you on Aburahim, but make sure you have your card. We are using the card to speak and to vote. On Aburahim. Uh, thank you, Madam, uh, Madam Speaker. If, if Honorable Nikal's amendment had talked about statutory deductions, then it would have been fine if it, there was statutory deductions. But the way it stands right now, it, it's very vague because it says net what uh, the chair has explained. But if it was statutory deductions, yes, that would be okay. Honorable Makali Mulu. Honorable Makali is on the floor. Yeah. Nothing yeah, is out you. of order. Honorable yeah. Makali. Thank you very much, Honorable Chair. Honorable Chair, I think the issue being raised by the Chair of the Finance Committee is the issue of administrative uh, nature, where you're saying detecting the money might be tricky. What I would propose, Honorable Chair, what Honorable Jukal is saying makes a lot of sense. Deductions should only be after the statutory deductions. That is PE, NHIF, and possibly those who have NSSA. So what I would be proposing Honorable Chair is how the, if the Chair of Finance could make an amendment so that we isolate those three, but then make sure it's not after the circle deductions and all those others. Because Kenyans need disposable income, Honorable Chair, for this economy to grow. In a situation where you squeeze all the disposable income, you will never grow this economy, and what you want to achieve as a country will never achieve it. I'm speaking as an expert in this area. So I, how I wish the chair could make an amendment so that we only deduct after those net deductions. I submit on the chair. What is out of order on Junet? Yeah, thank you very much for giving a chair. Uh, I want to urge our members on this side to drop all the amendments because it's not making any improvement in the house and we allow the Kenya Kwanza people to do the amendments as they wish and pass the bill. Sasa nyinyi munaambiwa mutoka nje muende nyumbani. Ona Bochea, do you have anything to add on this? Member for Funyula, Honorable Nchoke, what is it? You have the mic now, Honorable Nchoke. Yeah, can you give me a mic? Honorable Chair, uh, we can cure the chairman's fears by defining what net means. Because if we leave it gross, it's punitive, it's prohibitive. Kenyans are already suffering. So we can define that and remove the fears that the chairman has. Thank you. Majority leader. 
Thank you, Honorable Chair. Chair, I think uh, it's only fair that you put the question now on this matter because what Honorable Nikali is saying, Honorable Speaker, Honorable Chair, is that just geared towards reducing the amount that is collectible with no justification at all, and I, we completely disagree with the justification he's giving. It doesn't make a lot of sense. And I have spoken to Honorable Nikali. I was trying to prevail on him to drop this particular amendment because he has another amendment that we are in support of, and he knows where there is logic in what he's proposing. We support, but where you want to reduce the amount collectible, we do not support. Honorable Nikali, I want to pre uh, prevail on you to drop this particular amendment so that we support your other amendments that are logical and are making a lot of sense to many of us. Honorable members. Order, order members, I will put the question that clause 4 be amended as proposed by Honorable Nikal. Will as many as of that opinion say aye? Will as many as of a contrary opinion say nay? Yeah. The nay is of it. We have one more. The import of that amendment is that, is that the amendment by Honorable Ariko falls. The amendment by Honorable Anthony Oluoch falls, but we will give Honorable Clive Ombane to move the amendment. Uh, thank you, Madam uh, Chair. My amendment is as it appears.